Hello Branch students, it's Miss Lolly, and today I will be teaching you a very fun way to learn your multiplication table. Now I know sometimes it can get hard trying to memorize your multiplication while staring at a piece of paper, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to stare at a different paper, but it's going to be creative and fun. So we're going to need six white sheets of paper, all right? We're going to need a pair of scissors and some markers, all right? So get those ready and then pause the video and come back, all right? All right, so now that you've got your six pieces of paper, make sure you fold them in half. And what we're going to do next is we're going to cut them, all right? So grab your scissors and cut it down in the middle. All right, so make sure you do that and then you should have two blank sheets of white paper now, all right? So pause the video, do that, and then let's continue. All right, so for the next part, what we're gonna start by doing is we're gonna draw a flower and I have a template here that I'm gonna trace over um, and I'm also gonna make sure that attached is a template for you guys in case you wanna print it out and draw this, all right? So we're gonna start off by tracing this. So we're gonna draw a circle in the middle. All right, and then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna draw one petal on this side. And for me, it's much easier if I draw two petals like that. So that way on this side, you have five petals and on the next side, you have five. All right, so continue to trace them until you have 12 petals. All right. Now I'm not doing a very good job at tracing, but the point is that they're petals, right? All right, and now once you've drawn your 12 petals, what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw 12 more petals, but on top of those, all right? So like that. All right, oops. All right, and then you're gonna continue that. It doesn't have to be too big, but just big enough to fit a number on there. All right. Like I said, my tracing isn't so good, but it doesn't matter. All right, so make sure you draw your petals on there. All right, and now you've got your flower. Now, the next step is you're gonna write a number in here, so it can be either one through 12. And so we're gonna do for this one, we're gonna do three. We're gonna do three. All right, and then we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, and that will be our three times table flower, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three times one equals what? Three, three times two equals what? Six, and then we're gonna continue and so on, filling the rest of the chart, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pause it here so that you guys can draw it. All right, and then continue filling out the answers, all right? Okay, now that we finished our three times tables, it should look like this, all right? And we can start coloring it so that it can look something like this. So you see? And then you can either choose to shade it in, you can do whatever you'd like. I just chose to leave it like that and you can do that with every single timetable and learn them, all right? So I think this is a very cool and fun way to learn your timetables while drawing, coloring, and learning at the same time. Now remember, it's very important to learn these 
All right, so now I'm gonna show you the rest of the timetables and how you can get them done, okay? Like I mentioned earlier, you can do this from one through 12. All right, and as you can see, we have our one timetables, our twos, our threes, our fours, and they all look so colorful and wonderful. And you can even create it into a book if you'd like to. So that way you can flip through it and go to whichever number you like and practice multiplying, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you guys do this so you guys are able to learn and have some beautiful pages to look at and learn. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all of our social media. See you next time. Bye.